Jeremiah chapter 37, Jerusalem's last days. Zedekiah, son of Josiah, reigned as king in the land of Judah in place of Jehoiakim, son of Jehoiakim. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, made him king. He and his officers and the people of the land did not obey the words of the Lord that he spoke through Jeremiah the prophet. Nevertheless, King Zedekiah sent Jehuqal, son of Shelemiah, and Zephaniah, son of Masiah, the priest, to Jeremiah the prophet, requesting, Please pray to the Lord our God for us. Jeremiah was going out about his daily tasks among the people, for they had not yet put him into the prison. Pharaoh's army had left Egypt, and when the Chaldeans, who were besieging Jerusalem, heard the report, they withdrew from Jerusalem. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. This is what you will say to Judah's king, who is sending you to inquire of me. Watch, Pharaoh's army, which has come out to help you, is going to return to its own land of Egypt. The Chaldeans will then return and fight against this city. They will capture it and burn it down. This is what the Lord says. Do not deceive yourselves by saying, The Chaldeans will leave us for good, for they will not leave. Indeed, if you were to strike down the entire Chaldean army that is fighting with you, and there remained among them only the badly wounded man, each in his tent, they would get up and burn the city down. Jeremiah's Imprisonment when the Chaldean army withdrew from Jerusalem because of Pharaoh's army, Jeremiah started to leave Jerusalem to go to the land of Benjamin to claim his portion there among the people. But when he was at the Benjamin gate, an officer of the guard was there, whose name was Erejah, son of Shelemiah, son of Hananiah, and he apprehended Jeremiah the prophet, saying, You are deserting to the Chaldeans. That is a lie, Jeremiah replied. I am not deserting to the Chaldeans. Erejah would not listen to him, but apprehended Jeremiah and took him to the officials. The officials were angry at Jeremiah and beat him and placed him in jail in the house of Jonathan the scribe, for it had been made into a prison. So Jeremiah went into a cell in the dungeon and stayed there many days. Jeremiah summoned by Zedekiah. King Zedekiah later sent for him and received him, and in his house privately asked him, Is there a word from the Lord? There is, Jeremiah responded, and he continued, You will be handed over to the king of Babylon. Then Jeremiah said to King Zedekiah, How have I sinned against you or your servants or these people that you have put me in prison? Where are your prophets who prophesy to you, claiming the king of Babylon will not come against you in this land? So now please listen, my lord the king. May my petition come before you. Do not send me back to the house of Jonathan the scribe, or I will die there. So King Zedekiah gave orders, and Jeremiah was placed in the guard's courtyard. He was given a loaf of bread each day from the Baker Street until all the bread was gone from the city. So Jeremiah remained in the guard's courtyard.